InkProducts.com has now released its newest Executive Series 4 Continuous Ink System for HP DesignJet T120, T520. Now we have the latest chips, the latest COC chips. They automatically reset the ink level back to full. This is something brand new. Well, you don't have to worry about ink levels anymore because our, our new chips, our new, new COC chips, will reset the ink level when it goes down to low. It'll reset it back up to full. Okay, now before you install the paper in the interlock, we want to be able to take the cartridges out. So with no paper in the interlock, it's going to come over here, and then you'll be able to remove the cartridges. Then you're going to put the paper in the interlock. It's going to start to move. That's when you're going to unplug the printer. We want it to move over first. Then it's unplugged. Now we can move it by hand. You must unplug it. You want to be able to move it and do hose travel. If you try to do it under power, you'll damage the printer. Okay, now when you first get the executive uh, series ink tank, you want to balance it. What, what we're talking about is we're taking any ink that might have gotten in the isobaric chamber and moved it back into the ink chamber. Very important. Make sure the plugs are in and you're just going to rock it. That's the way we're showing here. Up and down. Now you only have to do that when you first get it or if you flood the isobaric chamber with ink because you took out both of the plugs. You'll want to only open up the air vent plug. Okay, now we're going to install the, uh, our cartridges. We're going to go through the bottom, slide them in. Take your time here because you want them to go in. You don't want to tangle them all up. And you'll be able to bring them up and then we're going to be able to put them in the print head. Feed the hose along. Like I said, you don't want to tangle it up. That's why you want to take your time. Get it positioned just the way we're showing here in the video. We also include printed instructions, but the video will help quite a bit. Okay, now we move the print head up out of our way. We're going to continue to slide them and come out the access where the cartridges go in. And again, we're moving the hose along. Okay, now we're going to be able to bring the printhead assembly over and install the cartridges. Okay, now we've straightened out the hose. Now I want you to take your time here. We want them all to go in correctly. Just take your time, and then you'll be able to push them in. You're always going to push from the bottom never from the top. Now you can see the way the hose is looping around. Push it in. There you go. Okay. Now we'll be installing the hose brackets. Now this is another part. It's very critical that you put them in the right spot. Okay, you're going to see two little holes right there. But this is a hard angle to get, but that's where the bracket's going to go. It's going to go right after this area here, this little bump area right here. And then you'll be able to clip it. You've got one there. Let's move on down here. And you've got one down over here. And if you see, you can line it up where they have the stamping. So you want to go right there. Take a good look here because, like I said, it's a tough angle with the camera to to get this shot. Okay, now we've installed that hose, but I want to point this out. The, the hose bracket's already installed. Just make sure you stick it, peel and stick it down in the right spot. And that'll already be installed on the on the CIS hose. So make sure the hose is not twisted or anything like that. Now we're going to peel the tape and we're going to stick it down in that spot when I showed you. Now I'm going to try to do it with the camera, 
Why we're doing it, sticking it down. Very difficult to, to see because you can't get the camera in there. Okay, now we got it in. That's it. Then there's the one more down here. Now that one you can stick on ahead of time and just clip the hose to it. Notice we've got it nice and straight and it's and it's just enough hose travel. Too much hose travel, it's gonna cause it to wrap up. So you wanna make sure this area is right. You got your hose clamp on. Now we just put the other one on that's in the back here, so you can see that one. Okay, and the hose is coming out now. And we're going to put another hose bracket right on the side to hold that hose. Okay, that's, that's almost a complete install right there. And there again, always check with the printed instructions, because if there's any version changes or any updates, we always put it in that. Okay, now let's remove just the vent plugs. That's critical. If you don't do that, the system will not work. They must remain open. You can close the lid, and that'll protect it from any type of dust or light. Now we'll be able to plug it in and do hose travel, just to make sure everything is working. That's why we're going to leave these little pieces. Okay, now we're doing hose travel. We just plugged it in. That's what you want to see. As simple as that. So take your time when installing it, and it will run flawless. Okay, now we just completed the install of our auto refill ink system. And we're printing out now a photo. Our Ultra True Color ink is as good as the OEM ink, if not better. We do recommend this printer because for a wide format, it really does an excellent job. Okay, we left the uh, little pieces of paper in the interlock just so you can see the action. Nice and smooth. So now we'll take the papers out and you'll be able to close the lid. All the, the lid in the front uh, access door you can close. That's it. That's how simple it was to put on an auto refill system.